What's going on you guys? It's George. Welcome back to my channel. Or, welcome to my channel. Today I'm talking about facial cleansers. Cleansers that worked for me, cleansers that didn't work for me, and some cleansers that were just meh. My skin is borderline sensitive. Also, it's kind of dry and it's kind of oily. So, I have very hyper emotional skin. I'm just going to put it that way. So depending on the weather, the season, the humidity, there's so many factors that go into how your skin is going to react. I have six facial cleansers here that I'm going to talk about today from six different brands. Which ones worked, which ones are worth buying, and which ones I would recommend. So keep on watching. George, George, George. It's George. 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 George, do feel lighter. It's George. George. You're real smart, aren't you, George? George. Shira, Shira, Shira. Shira. It's George. Shira. A good facial cleanser is absolutely pertinent. It's a necessity, guys. We gotta wash our face every day. Whether it's once or twice a day, just wash your face, okay? The most important factor when it comes to choosing the right facial cleanser is your skin type. So there's oily, there's dry, and there's a combo. And me, personally, my skin type really fluctuate depending on the season. So right now we're going into spring, and it's not cold out, but it's not hot. So I still got to stay hydrated and I still got to not exfoliate every single day. And that's one thing that I want to make sure to discuss. Guys, washing your face, although it's important, try to only use a facial cleanser once. And that's before you go to bed. So when you're out in the day and you have, you know, the atmosphere on your face, pollution and just the, the grime and the dirt that you, that you build up throughout the day, going to bed, you want to make sure you have a clean face. Your pores will be able to breathe. It's going to help out with clarity and blood flow. So what I like to do is a facial cleanser at nighttime and when I wake up in the morning, I just rinse my face with cold water. The cold water usually minimizes my pores, it wakes up my face and it, it kind of wakes me up in general. So I appreciate that. Now today's video is just gonna be a basic run through of what facial cleansers kind of work for me and which ones did not, which ones I use per season and which ones are just a flop. So I'm not gonna dig too much into like each product. I'm just gonna kind of share some tips and products that work for me. With that being said, I'm gonna start off with the facial cleansers that were kind of just, eh, they were all right. Now I have this one right here. This is by Tombstone for Men, and this actually has salicylic acid. It has beautiful ingredients and properties. It is natural, it is organic, and it does work pretty great, whether you're using it just with your hands or a brush. By the way, guys, I use a Duval brush. Not sponsored, but I absolutely, guys, I love this. It comes with like different heads and it's soft. The only thing it would really change is the fact that it's like battery operated. I wish it charged, but this is a lifesaver and I've definitely noticed a difference with like my skin's clarity once I started using like a brush. And I used to just wash my skin, like my face with my hands lightly and you could just notice the difference, guys. It's, it's kind of crazy. This cleanser is called The Wash. Salicylic cleanser. Salicylic, guys, that is such a hard word to say. But let me tell you, this is this is a nice cleanser. It definitely makes you feel clean. It doesn't strip your face. It's not harsh on your skin, and it does lather up pretty well. Um, I'm not gonna really get into like the consistency or anything because I don't want to make a mess here. But guys, it is a nice one. It doesn't break the bank, and it does come in a pretty decent size. This is four ounces, and I've been using this for months. Maybe like two months, I go on and off, and I haven't killed a bottle yet. So. I like it. Next, I have a Dermalogica product. And guys, I used to be absolutely obsessed with this brand. Dermalogica is recommended by dermatologists. The prices are, uh, they're not, not the most affordable, but it does not break the bank. This is the Dermal Clay Cleanser. And this is amazing for really cleaning out your pores. Now it's not so much of an exfoliator, but it does kind of in a way strip your face. So if you are battling acne or acne, <laughs> this is probably a great cleanser for you. Um, if you do have sensitive skin, this is a little harsh for that. And that's why when I was battling acne, um, it did kind of like clean my pores. Um, it isn't safe to use, in my opinion, every single day just because it it is a little intense. But it does make you feel clean and it is a thorough clean. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I haven't used this in a while, so I'm kind of like almost done with it. But... It's all right. It's definitely one of those cleansers where I know if I use this, I'm going to feel like absolutely clean the house. Next, we're going to talk about my least favorite. And guys, I'm saying these are my least favorite products because they just didn't perform for me. They didn't work for me. So that being said, does not mean that they're not going to work for you. So keep that in mind. This is the Tricoastal Designs 
Milagu Black Exfoliating Face Wash and Scrub with Vitamin E. Milagu, I kind of like, it's like a hard word to, like, what is Milagu? I don't know, but this, this was not the cleanser for me, guys. It didn't really set up too well. Um, it kind of just felt cheap, and I don't know how any other way to describe it other than, like, it just felt like a Neutrogena, over-the-counter, not great product. I don't know. I don't want to rip into it too much, but this, this was not for me. Next, I have a cleanser that's by a J Beauty brand. This is Cure. Guys, I wish this worked well for me, but it is way too watered down. And Japanese Beauty, J Beauty, is huge with skincare. Their ingredients perform. Usually they have like very powerful formulas, but I just, I could not get this to work for me. I don't know what it was. Whatever I used it, I just did not feel like my skin was clean. It just felt like I was putting like a dose of water over my skin. Like you could probably use this as like a, a body moisturizer. I don't know, but this is, it's, it's not it. And now to my favorite part. My favorites, guys. These are my favorite facial cleansers at the moment. And I just started using this one a few weeks ago and I already love it, guys. This is the B Bella Probiotic Facial Cleanser. It's amazing. Let me tell you, like, I don't know what it is about this, but I feel clean, I feel hydrated, and I really feel like my skin has a type of treatment on it. Like, it doesn't just make you feel clean. I don't know how to describe it, but this is like a therapeutic type of cleanser for me. The product is not too expensive, it doesn't break the bank, and it really has a nice size here. This is 4.2 ounces, and like I said, I've been using this for a few weeks, there's still a lot left. Now again, I only use a facial cleanser at nighttime, so I really don't like go through my product a lot. So that's a tip guys, definitely think about not using a facial cleanser twice a day. I mean, unless you're really sweaty when you sleep and you're a mess when you wake up, do you. But for me, like I don't, I'm not a mess when I wake up, so I don't need to like use a cleanser in the morning. Brace yourself guys, because I'm about to tell you my favorite facial cleanser and you're never gonna believe this, but. It is by the queen, Miss Paris Hilton. This is the Pro DNA Skincare Advanced System. And guys, this dual action cleansing gel is to die for. It is powerful. It has amazing ingredients. It makes you feel clean. It makes you feel like you just had a facial. I can't stress it enough, guys, but this is a great product. It doesn't break the bank. It's affordable and a little goes a long way too. There's just something about this that has just really improved my skin's clarity. It doesn't make my face feel stripped of anything. It benefits my pores and I feel like my skin can breathe after using this. Having combo skin, I can use this cleanser anytime. It does not perform differently per season for me. This is just nothing but a benefit, guys. And it actually works amazing with a brush as well. It lathers up. It is not abrasive around the eyes. It's just an overall like necessity in my life, guys. This has been my favorite cleanser for a while, ever since I tried it, to be honest with you. Love Paris Hilton, I'm absolutely impressed with her skincare line. I really wanna try her eye serum, that's like what I'm eyeing up next, but, oh, you guys. There's actually a few facial cleansers that I'm going to be trying. We have the Hemp Seed Oil Cleanser, this is by I Do Care, their Namaste Kitten Collection. Love this brand, guys, I'm hoping that this performs just like all their other products. Sure it will. And I also have this one right here that I picked up at Ulta just last minute. It's the Vitamin C Facial Wash uh, Face Soap and Clarity. It's by a company called Soap and Glory. I needed to spend like a certain amount of money to use a coupon, so this is on like one of those kiosks. And um, I never heard of this brand. I'm excited to try it because I love anything vitamin C oriented. But yeah, we'll give this a go. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully you found this to be beneficial, fun. If you have any recommendations on a facial cleanser to give a shot, sign off in the comment section down below. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. That'd be much appreciated. Goes a long way. Share this video and share the love. Also hit the notification bell because I upload videos weekly. So you might as well follow me on this YouTube journey. And my Instagram is right here, at George Shira, if you want to give that a follow. But until next time, say thanks, give compliments, and think positive. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.